So what is marriage? Um, marriage is all about giving and taking, and forgiving and forsaking, kissing and loving, and pushing and shoving, caring and sharing, and screaming and swearing, <laughs> <laughs> about being together, whatever the weather, about being driven to the end of your tether, about sweetness and kindness and wisdom and blindness. It's about being strong when you're feeling quite weak. It's about saying nothing when you're dying to speak. It's about being wrong when you know you're right. It's about giving in before there's a fight. And for you two today, it's about to begin. And for all that the two of you had to put in, some days filled with joy and some days with sadness. Too late you'll discover that marriage is madness. Because we're now going to do an old Celtic symbolic gesture called hand fasting. It's a traditional gesture that goes back hundreds of years and formerly served as an exchange of vows. So if I can ask the mothers, Ellen and Wilma, to come forward with their clan ribbons. Yes. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need a curse, she's not the queen. <laughs> One hand will be tied and the other free, representing that Annette and Stuart are entering this marriage willingly and not by force. And this also symbolises you will always respect each other as individuals, although you recognise you're stronger together as a couple. And as this knot is tied, so are your lives now bound. Stuart, if you put your right hand on top of Annette's left forearm, turn your hand up on his elbow. That's it. And we're using the two family <laughs> tartans here. What are the tartans? Armstrong. Armstrong and, and Buchanan. And Buchanan. Excellent. Right. Stuart, lift your thumb and hold that. Hold down. The first coil represents Stuart's love for Annette. And the second coil represents Annette's love for Stuart. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch, comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will give you strength and support when you need it. So as your hands are joined together now, so may your hearts always be. And now as you hold on to the end of the cord that I've slipped between your fingers and thumb, slowly, very slowly, pull your hands apart. You stand still, and then you move back, Stuart. Very slowly. Keep going. Hold on to the end of that cord that I've slipped between your fingers. And the knot is tied. Hold it up. Well done, guys. Well done. Too sure I'll get this too. Give it to Matt. Now, we'll now move on to the most important part of the ceremony when you will exchange your vows. Can I have the rings, please? Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> 
<laughs> Annette and Stuart, your wedding rings will stand as a permanent reminder of the vows you will exchange today. Wear them always, and when you look at them, think about each other, and remember the happiness you felt on this, your wedding day. Can you now please deliver your personal vows to each other? I've got yours, babe. <laughs> you call me babe again? <laughs> <laughs> Annette, I love you. You're my best friend. Today I commit myself to you. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and comfort you. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when life seems hard. Whenever love is simple and when it is an effort, I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you now and forever. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Stuart, I give you everything I am and everything I will be. I will value our friendship beyond measure. I promise to share your dreams and to help you achieve your goals. I will never stand behind you or in front of you, but I will always be by your side. I will listen to you with an open heart and an open mind, pledging my honesty, compassion and forgiveness. I promise to love you no matter what tomorrow brings. I will always be by I'm uh, sorry, I will always be your most loyal friend and your loving wife because you are my heart. My soul and forever. She's got a fly in her eye or something. Take <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm Stuart, would you please take a next ring and as you hold it to the finger of her left hand, she'll tell you what finger she knows. <laughs> Repeat after me. Annette, I promise to love you and to trust you. Annette, I promise to love you and to trust you. To be honest and faithful to you. To be honest and faithful to you. I promise to be a loving and supportive husband. I promise to be a loving and supportive husband. And stop piling dishes in the sink. <laughs> and stop piling dishes in the sink. But rinse them. But rinse them. And put them directly into the dishwasher. And put them directly into the dishwasher. <laughs> For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I, Stuart. I, Stuart. Accept you, Annette. Accept you, Annette. In marriage. In marriage. As my lawfully wedded wife. As my lawfully wedded wife. And equal partner. And equal partner. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. Of my everlasting love. Of my everlasting love. And Annette, if you can please take Stuart's ring and as you hold it to the finger, <laughs> left hand, please repeat after me. Stuart. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't think anybody noticed. Sorry, keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart, I promise to love you and to trust you. <laughs> well, something. Uh, sorry. Stuart, I promise to love you and trust you. Stuart, I promise to love you and trust you. To be honest and faithful to you. To be honest and faithful to you. I promise to be a loving and supporting wife. I promise to be a loving and supporting wife. And not trot off to bed at the end of the night. <laughs> and not trot off to the bed at the end of the night. <laughs> Leaving you to switch everything off. And leaving you to switch everything off. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I and it. I and it. Accept you, Stuart. Accept you, Stuart. In marriage. In marriage. As my lawfully wedded husband. As my lawfully wedded husband. And equal partner. And equal partner. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my everlasting love. As a token of my everlasting love. And slip the ring off. And hold hands. And look at each other. <laughs> With Annette and Stuart, by virtue of the declarations you have made in my presence and in the presence of both your witnesses and guests, 
I have much pleasure in declaring you married and pronouncing you husband and wife. I invite you to share lots of kisses. <laughs> And now, to celebrate and acknowledge their love and marriage, I'm going to invite Annette and Stuart to toast each other with the traditional Scottish cup called the Quake, also known as a loving cup or cup of friendship. The Quake or loving cup represents trust and its two handles make it ideal for sharing. The couple's fathers, Robert and Sid, will pour a drink into the Quake and both Annette and Stuart will drink from it. And this symbolises their first act of union and their tie bond. This loving cup is symbolic of the pledge that you have made to one another, that your lives, separate until this moment, have now become one. So if I can ask the respective fathers to step forward, please. Now they've combined two whiskies, which you may not know is called a marriage of whiskies. How appropriate. So, I'll hand it to Stuart first. Watch it in his spill, Stuart. So you take it and drink now to the love you have shared in the past. Pass it to Drink now to the love That's you good. have shared in the past. That's good. Drink to your love in the present and on this your wedding day. Three sippies. That's it, man. <coughs> Drink to your love in the present on this your wedding day. And drink to your love in the future and forevermore. Pass it back to you, Annette. Drink to your love in the future and forevermore. which lasted one night. <laughs> he's also something of a perfectionist, which can really be frustrating at times when he's doing a job for you, because you just want the thing done. But it's got to be done right. <laughs> but most of all, he's got the patience of a saint. When other people are losing theirs going thermonuclear, he tends to be the voice of reason within it all. And all of these qualities should have go so well within it that they really make a formidable partnership. I know Stuart will be a great mate for Max, and with Max as part of this team, I don't believe they can achieve anything they really set out to do.
Oh, oh, oh. 